Hi, my name is Bash Harry, and this is the Harry Knit. We have a Japan haul! Yay! This is a Japan haul. I did not go to Japan, but my sister did, and I gave her some money, and I went, please buy me yarn in Japan. I'm begging you. I have not bought any yarn in over a year, and I wanted to just, you know, give myself a little bit of a little fund for my personal hobby and that's what she did she bought me some yarn so thank you shasha she went to japan last week she came back yesterday and when she came home immediately i opened the door and i was like let me help you with your bags suffice to say she knew exactly why i wanted to help with her bags she went to shinjuku and she went to okadaya which is apparently the biggest store for crafting in japan or at least in Tokyo. I wouldn't know. When I went to Japan, I wasn't really knitting, so I didn't... That was like five, seven, eight years ago um, with my family. Wasn't really into knitting at the time or going into craft stores. So I asked her to go, and she said I would absolutely love it because it's so big and there's just so much stuff. And I got some yarn. I was tempted to put this video or this yarn haul in my like knitting podcast, but there's not... It was too much, too many things. So I thought I'd just do one here. And it's been a while since I've done a yarn haul of this caliber, because I haven't really spent anything on yarn for the past year, as I said earlier. So I wanted to share for you guys what I got. And it's, it's quite a bit, you know? My friends were over my house yesterday and they were looking at the yarn and I was, we were talking about different types of yarn, different fibers, the reasons why I picked these out. And it was really fun, especially since one of my friends is a crocheter and she likes yarn, but she, she's not a knitter, she doesn't make clothes. So, you know, it was really interesting to hear her perspective as somebody who crochets animals and plushies and other things, but not like clothes the way I do. So. We have, I have my notes here, we have five yarns, five yarns, but quite a lot of balls and skeins. So I think we'll just do in order of what I got. I think that's, I think that's the best way to do it. The first one here is the Sono Mono colored wool. Look at it, it's so pretty. And I think this is my first neutral brown color. No, that's not true. I made the Malwina sweater in like a very light neutral beige. This is slightly darker. It is this nudish brown and it is 60% wool, 40% alpaca, if I'm correct. And this is, I wanna assume it's a ran. It's very thick as we can see. And I got eight balls of these yarns. I'm not gonna show you all of them because honestly, way too many. And this is made in Japan. I'm assuming most, if not all of these yarns are made in Japan. I'm pretty sure, not 100%, but they were purchased and they do have uh, the lettering there. And this one is, as I said before, Sono Mono, and it is a wool. So I said it before, I'm not really somebody who uses a lot of wool. And even when I do, I tend to do fingering weight yarn, but I am itching to do something thick and this boy is a thick boy <laughs> she is she he they it is so cute and so soft it is a little stiffer than what I'm used to I really like merino but this seems like it would be a really great ball for sweaters specifically or vests which I'm curious about I don't really make a lot of pieces with neutral colors. That's just my personal preference, but I do want to slowly get started into making some more pieces with neuter colors, nude colors, just because I think I need some in my wardrobe, to be honest. And I do have plans on traveling next year to colder climates. So wool is definitely on my list of things I have to start knitting with more often. And I am definitely thinking of a sweater for this specific uh, yarn. She's so cute. You can see the sheep butt right there. Can you see it? Hold on. You cannot see the sheep butt. My camera will not focus. I think it's so soft and pretty. Oh, I just love staring at my yarn. 
to be honest. I don't really want to talk about it. I just want to look at it and just see it in all its glory. But moving on, we also have the Mary F yarn. I think this is what it's called. This is the Mary F right here in this beautiful, beautiful rosy pink color. I love pink. I do like working with pink a lot, but this one I think is a lot more subdued than my usual pink. This is 70% wool, 30% acrylic. And a few of the yarns that I purchased did have acrylic. When I looked at the store online, it was all in Japanese. I had to use Google Translate. And admittedly, if I had the choice and I was there in Japan, I would definitely stay in that store for hours looking at yarn, looking at the materials, looking at the fiber. But because this was my sister and she probably only had 15 30 minutes we were really strapped for her time so i wasn't going to like force her to stay longer than she wanted to so i was just picking out the yarn based on look and what we could see or capture through google translate this is pretty small though it's not even 50 grams it's 30 grams and it's about i want to say 130 meters and i have one two three four five i have six seven balls of it vest slash sweater quantity for most of the yarn that i have here because i prefer knitting clothes just my personal preference and this one is much thinner i think this is more sport weight yarn like i look at the website can you see it it's very thin as you can see from like how thin it is this probably uses I want to say three to four millimeter. This is definitely either a sport or a DK. It is so pretty. Oh, it is much stiffer though. I'm like feeling the fabric. I won't say it's itchy like compared to other wools that I've tried. This one just feels a little bit coarse. Like it's a coarse kind of yarn. So I wouldn't wear this on its own. I probably wear this as a layering piece if I were to make a sweater out of it. I keep saying sweaters like I'm gonna be designing sweaters but to be honest I feel like something like this would require like a more intricate piece like something with lace work would look really pretty with that specific yarn. This is a Mary Amari F yeah and it's made in Japan. I wish I could understand the language simply because I know that they have instructions and I just I cannot understand it. Though the labels are pretty standard I just have to google it once I start actually using this yarn. Another yarn that I got in Japan and this I think was my friend's personal favorite when she saw it and it was um, my other friend's favorite because of how soft it is, let me show you, is Merino Wool DK in the color Wisteria. Can you see it? My light is blowing it out. Ooh. Whoopsies. Sorry. So I think I have one, two, I want to say nine to ten balls of this because this is a DK, it's thin, and I cannot wait to make a sweater out of this. I love the look of DK yarns because of the stitch definition. I think I just love good stitch definition and this color is so pretty. I do not see colors like this often. Lavender or wisteria as it's called is a very beautiful soft purple. It's so nice, it's luscious and merino is my favorite wool to work with not only for winter but just any other weather because I find it's not as heavy as other wools that I've worked with. So I'm excited to see what I can come up with with this pattern or like with this yarn. I have the idea, I have an inkling to continue making the vest I was talking about last week with this yarn because I think I have enough yarn for it. I hope. Do not count me on that though because I still need to finish that pattern before I work on this one. But I think this color is just gorgeous. She's pretty, she's pretty, and she's so nice to look at. Honestly, like when it came to asking my sister to buy yarn for me, it was purely on the vibes. Do Could I look at this and think, ooh, is this like a nice one to design? Or is there something that draws me inspiration with the colors? That's what I'm thinking when I'm thinking of this yarn. I think you need to make like, you need two balls to make a hat. I bought nine because I needed to make like a sweater or vest quantity. Um, 
And plus, from what I notice, a lot of the balls of yarn in Japan wore less than 50 grams. I, if anyone has been to Japan, let me know if that's common or that's normal. But the ones that we bought was about 50 grams or less, including this one. Another yarn that I got, this one I only got five, only got five, but I did get this Olympus Milky Baby Candy Washable Knitting Yarn. Do the beauty guru thing. I love that there are red, blue, and yellow specks against the white. And I bought five. This is, I think, 60% wool, 40% acrylic as well. And this is a sport weight yarn. So this one, I think, is about the same as this one, I want to say, in terms of thickness. This one's slightly thicker, so this might be a fingering weight yarn. I want to say I want to make a really light vest with this. I've been in a vesty mood lately. I don't know why, but I really want to make another vest um, or at least like a top. I feel like a top with this yarn would look really pretty, kind of like this one. This one is the So Summer shirt by Jessie May using bamboo, but it's very similar to this with the little speckle design. So I think it would look really nice as a shirt actually. I need to find a knitting pattern that would be really light for the summer, considering this is wool and acrylic. I'd probably need something that's lacy, that still shows the speckle design really well, but I need to swatch it to see how it looks like. Yeah, this one uses, I want to say size 4 to 6 millimeters, but I can be wrong. My family's outside, I can hear them. I'm going through this haul very quickly, but nevertheless, you know, I'm just too excited to see all of this yarn and I really want to put them away so I could just stare at it prettily. But I need to figure out a way to like store my yarn and have no chichaks, specifically house lizards, get to it because I'm really worried about that. Anyway, last but not least is a very popular brand. I've seen people here on YouTube talk about it and I got really curious so I asked my sister to get it for me. This is Noro Kureon, which literally translates to crayon. And it's a self-striping color. This has pinks and purples, and I'm so curious to see how it's going to look like knitted up. I have five of these, so not too many. And this is an Aran weight yarn. This is very clearly Aran weight. But the piling or the plies, it's like twisted. And there's sections that are thinner than the others. Like this one is very thin compared to this. I don't know if you can see it, but this is thick. This is pretty thin. So I'm curious to see how it works up in a pattern. But I actually do have an idea for this. I am planning on knitting up a sweater using bulky needles. And I'm curious to see how it's gonna work up. Uh, just out of my own curiosity, if I wanted to do like eight or 10 millimeter needles while still keeping this yarn, I feel like it's gonna be really sheer, but still really cozy. That being said, this yarn itself is actually kind of itchy. Like, compared to this, which is also 100% wool, this is wool apaca, this is just 100% wool, this definitely feels much coarser, and I definitely know against bare skin it would be a little bit irritating, so keep that in mind when you're working with Noro. I do want to see how this works up, but it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. I have definitely a color scheme going on. I like pinks, I like blues, I like very girly colors, in case you couldn't tell. I'm a very girly person. I don't think I'm a very girly person. I think I'm just, just somebody who loves colors, specific colors to be more precise. But I'm curious to see how this designs or makes up. I have a pattern that I wanna make with this, but we shall see if it works. I have so many ideas when it comes to patterns and yarns, but I don't ever feel like I have the time to do it all because I'm only one person with one hand. One hand, I have two hands. But I'm only one person with two hands. A lot of yarn, not enough time, but isn't that the life that we live now? I think that's all the yarn that I want to show you. Not as much as I thought it would be, but in the future, wherever I go, 
I want to make it a point to start buying yarns from places I visit. When I went to Malaysia in August, I didn't really have time to go check out the yarns. And I don't think there's any like hand dyed yarns there. I know of one in Langkawi, but I don't know anyone who dyes yarn in KL. But I'm really curious to see if they are and if I can purchase yarn the next time I go to KL Malaysia. And maybe if I go to Singapore or other Southeast Asian countries, I feel like collecting yarn would be really fun. It'd be really nice to work up. That is just another tangent for future me's decisions. Anyway, I think that is about it. A very short video, uh, all things considered. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want more, there will be more videos, I promise. But until then, my name is Bash Harry, and I'll see you later. Bye!